I decided to do some research on Virginia before going to Virginia so I can relate to the folks in Virginia. And five things I've learned about the great state of Virginia, two up, two down, five. Number one, Virginia ain't West Virginia, and you better understand that. Virginia have mountain. Don't call them hills. West Virginia have hills. The hills have eyes. People stay in those hills that have eyes. Those are West Virginia people, according to the Virginia people. Do not confuse the two, because if you do, it can get very bad for you. You can be caught up in a town or an area that you cannot get out of. People from Virginia, they take pride in being in the two up, two down, the 804. Somehow, in my opinion, the only thing I think separate them is the word West, but I'm smart enough to not even say that to nobody in their face, because I say West Virginia and Virginia is the same damn thing, and then I'll probably be tied up somewhere in Virginia. They'll put me in the back of the trunk, and they'll send me to them damn hills that got eyes in West Virginia. But two, people in Virginia are dead serious about history. History ain't always been one of my favorite subjects. I like history, but I ain't in love with it. I do understand you don't know where you're going to, you know where you've been. But in Virginia, history is a way of living. When you come out, you breathe, you learn something that happened in history. And the folks in Virginia love history so much that they turn their entire towns into historical references at any given random time. Like certain times of the year, I might go to a monument or something because it's historically accurate and it's historically relevant at that time. No, you wake up on Valentine's Day and you're going to hear cannons outside booming and you're gonna see people in the street marching but bruh bruh it, it is now it's my birthday in September we ain't we weren't going to war with each other the civil war ain't did the civil war happen on Jesus birthday did it people in Virginia will not let history die ever number three nobody minds being from Washington DC Washington DC although it's a very political area it's a nice area and nobody minds claiming it so if you meet somebody in Virginia and you ask them where they from and they say Fairfax they might say Fairfax by way of DC according to the people I talk to nobody minds being from DC DC is that cool ass grandma that give you candy in her house every time your mama drop you off DC is that girlfriend with the chest and the big booty that walk a little bow legged and do not mind doing things in public that the other your ex-girlfriend was tripping about. DC is that real buff boyfriend that'll knock your ex-boyfriend out because your ex-boyfriend talk too much. DC is that cool cousin that go down the sidewalk during Thanksgiving and y'all know they going down the sidewalk to go down the sidewalk. DC is a cool place that nobody minds claiming. Number four, people in DC can't drive because the roads don't want to make up their mind. Now, every state has this thing. That state can't drive. Those people drive like maniacs. They drive too slow. They ain't from this state, so they shouldn't be driving down here. The thing about D.C. is a lot of the things on the Internet said people in D.C. can't drive. But then I did my own research, and I looked at some of the roads in some of the areas. And then some of the roads go from this to like this to like this to like this to a black guy with a curve to a white guy that's straight. You can't learn how to drive. So then when you get on a normal road, you're so panicky. You're so used to being a NASCAR driver while going to the grocery store that you really don't understand understand a sense of normal driving. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say people in DC probably can drive, but the roads don't allow them to drive at a, in a way that would be conducive to somebody else on the road with them, which kind of means that people in DC and Virginia and stuff can't really drive. Okay, I, I, I take that y'all can't drive in Virginia. I gotta be safe. And number five, they are completely realistic about the terribleness of their sports franchises. I've yet to meet a group of people that will admit they franchises, they sports franchises aren't good. But if you look at the Redskins, you look at the Washington Wizards, Washington Bullets to some people, if you look at their baseball team, y'all just, y'all in Virginia, y'all just ain't good in sport. Not saying that y'all not good before y'all get to the sports team, but as sports franchise, y'all just ain't that good. Now y'all competitive. And y'all feisty and y'all fight and y'all put up a fight and I can understand why y'all have such a, a strong support, but y'all just ain't good and y'all ain't in denial about that. Y'all have no problem at men that y'all ain't good, which is makes y'all cool people. It makes me want to invite y'all over to the cookout so y'all can watch some real sports teams win and stuff because I'm a front runner. I'm going to go for anybody who's in the lead. So don't blame me, judge me, judge your mammy. I can't wait to see y'all in November though. Couple weeks, Josh Prey will be in Richmond. Virginia. Um, I heard Richmond, Virginia is the place to be too. I'm thinking about buying some property out there. Can anybody hook me up with a realtor?